Hi everybody, welcome to this video on the ASUS Advanced Configuration Menu. Uh, over here we have an ASUS Tinkerboard connected to the network, powered up, and we have the Advanced Configuration Menu loaded. Alright, so let's put that one side. Let's put a mobile device. Alright, so let's connect to the uh, ASUS Tinkerboard as Lenaro username Lenaro you'll need to execute the uh, script with elevated privileges uh, so what we need to do is go sudo su and then we need to execute the menu in the menu we have network configuration the sub-menu is to install a wireless AP or connect your ASUS Tinkerboard to an existing Wi-Fi network or set a static uh, local area network IP address. If you don't have a DNS or DHCP server, this option can be used to install that. Uh, this is used to uh, forward your traffic from your wireless to your um, local area network adapter and from your local area network adapter to your wireless uh, local area network and restore network configuration at any point when you're installing any of these options if you wish to back it completely out just simply restore your network configuration the media configuration is to mount USB drives uh, this is configured to drive A or a drive B uh, USB shared drives to mount your shares your Windows shares alright so let us continue as you can see in the mobile device I only have one uh, wireless SSID showing and that is our SSID here so let's install a wireless AP Please enter your password. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 0. Please make sure your password is a minimum of 8 and a maximum of 63 characters. Otherwise, the access point services simply won't start. SSID, I'm just going to call it Tinkerboard. You can use the default IP address as shown, or you can choose your own ranges. For this demonstration, I'm going to use the suggested IP ranges alright and done this point you can exit and reboot let's just give the tinkerboard a moment to um, reboot as you can see on the mobile device uh, Tinkerboard has now come up let's just move that a bit closer so you can see that Tinkerboard alright let's restart this connection Monaro Lenaro sudo su if you have configured root you welcome to log in as root as long as there is sufficient permissions to run the menu uh, sorry that's main menu alright so on the mobile device um, I'm going to connect to Tinkerboard connect and as you can see I have connected to the Tinkerboard. Now previously I had set a passcode so what I'm going to do is I'm going to say forget this network and I'm going to reconnect to this network so that I need to enter my password 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 0 connect as you can see I'm now connected, connected to the ASUS Tinkerboard Alright, at this point we'd like to demonstrate 
the traffic forwarding as you can see I don't have an internet connection although I am connected to the tinkerboard so we're going to allow traffic from the Wi-Fi as an access hotspot through to the network adapter by simply going to our network configuration and forwarding and masquerading from our wireless to our local area network and it's done let's exit and reboot as you can see the ASUS Tinkerboard has dropped off and I've reverted back to my original home network alright as you can see the SSID has returned allow it a minute or two that it loads the uh, DNS mask services let's reconnect as you can see I've reconnected let's see if we can access the internet as you can see I can now access the internet through my ASUS Tinkerboard so let's open up a browser as you can see I have internet access alright that completes the demonstration around the Wi-Fi hotspot uh, let me just return to Wi-Fi settings Alright, let's reconnect to the Raspberry Pi. Lenaro. Lenaro. Pseudo SU. Let's call the main menu. Alright, I'm going to restore the network configurations to default for this RAS for this tinkerboard. There's our greeting message to say please reboot. Right now we've completely removed all the network settings from the ASUS Tinkerboard and you'll see my mobile device drop off the connection shortly. There we go. Right, let's allow the ASUS Tinkerboard a moment to reboot. restart the session login as Lenaro let's login as Lenaro pseudo SU scroll up the main menu network configuration next we're going to demonstrate connecting this ASUS Tinkerboard to this existing wireless network that you can see here so let's install the client enter the SSRD on your network enter your uh, your management key and there's a greeting to say we've successfully configured it exit and reboot Right, the ASUS Tinkerboard will reboot and connect to the uh, wireless network. There will be now two network connections on the Tinkerboard. The one will be the local area network uh, plugged in, and the other one will obviously be a Wi Fi connection. Let's run an IF config. Alright, as you can see, our local area network is connected. That subnet, that range. And as you can see, we also share a wireless connection to the same range on the same subnet but with the wireless adapter. So we've connected the ASUS Tinkerboard to the Wi-Fi network. 
Alright, let's continue. We can set a static LAN IP address on the local area network adapter. Um, it's pretty much the same process where it asks you for the entries. You plug it in and it does it for you. So that concludes the network configuration tool, uh, submenu. Now for the media, the media configuration. So what I'm going to do in this demonstration is I'm going to connect a window share um, and have it mounted into the share your share username this would be your username that you've assigned to your share this would be the password for your share this would be the folder name that you would like to create as a mount point we're going to stick with the um, for the purpose of demonstration, my share and the path to your share. Alright, it checks if any of the pre installed package dependencies are not there. Um, it then proceeds to install them if you're missing them. And we're done. Alright, cd forward slash, we called it Marche. And as you can see, I have some files that I can already access remotely. The full path to the menu is home Lenaro. media configuration. The same would apply to USB drives if you're putting in a pen drive, USB drive or an external powered um, USB drive. Uh, pretty much the same process. It asks you what uh, your mount point you'd like to call it and it continues to do the mounts for you. That concludes the media configuration tool submenu. Alright everybody, uh, that concludes the ASUS Tinkerboard Advanced Configuration Menu de uh, Demonstration. Thank you for watching.